Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to turn one of these Ematic Fun Tabs. These are uh, 7 inch Wonder Media 8650-esque um, tablets. They use the same motherboards that you would see in a in silicon on a chip that you'd see in like a, a Via uh, Wonder Media tablet, Wonder Media netbooks. It's basically the same deal. It runs um, Android 2.2 by default. I think it has an ARM 9, but don't kill me if I'm wrong. Uh, so I think it is an ARM9 chip. It's not all that fast. I think they're like 900 megahertz. It's got 256 megs of RAM. Not a really uh, um, heavy hitter in terms of hardware, but here it is. Here's the uh, the fun tab. The uh, touch screen on this thing uh, broke probably like six months after I got it. But uh, I have it hooked up to a mouse and a keyboard using a uh, a wire. Uh, Let's see here, a wired USB 4 port adapter. And uh, let's see what happens when we turn it on. Let's see what happens when we boot this 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 bad boy up here. Oh, look at that. Windows CE Embedded uh, is on this thing now. It's not running Android anymore. And uh, it works great. Somebody put together a, uh, a bootable zip file that you just unload onto a uh, micro SD card, pop it in this uh, tablet, turn it on, and it'll uh, install Windows CE instead of uh, what you would normally have on it. And, and I'll tell you what, like it runs way better with Windows CE than it did on, um, on Android 2.2. And I, I hate to say, you know, it, it sucks that Windows CE is the only operating system I found for this style of uh, device that does boot up properly. I, I saw some work on uh, Techno's website, and um, I think there's an author named Wicknix that was working on a Debian port to the WM8650 hardware a year or two ago. Uh, I think he quit developing around June 2012, and then... Uh, somebody else took over, uh, you know, some other team was trying to develop Arch Linux for the system, which would work better, but nobody ended up making a, uh, uh, a bootable zip file that I could find, and, and being the Luddite that I am, I, I wouldn't know how to build it, I'm, I'm really, I'm not that familiar with Linux, and I, I don't have that much time on my hand to try to sink my teeth into a project like that, but um, so far, I mean, it's already more useful than than it was with uh, with Android 2.2. Um, and it, you know, it has like Windows CE itself already has this this uh, distribution of it already has some impressive stuff built in. Uh, it has WordPad, so you can just come in here, you can format, uh, um, change the font. It already has some preloaded fonts, and it uses True Type font, so I'm assuming you can load up. Um, Fonts you can download readily off the internet. Uh, got the Notepad app right here. Has some other, uh, and it has a start menu, so you can uh, mess around with it and see what it comes with. Uh, you can already, like, out of the box, play Solitaire on this thing. Um, it, I'm to show you some of the uh, the other capabilities of this uh, device here. I loaded up a movie. It opens up in Windows Media Player. Like I said, I just did this last night. The audio is not that loud, but it does work. Works all right. I mean, it's, it's like it, this thing was was ungodly slow when it was running uh, Windows or uh, when it was running Android 2.2 it was ridiculous uh, this thing comes with um, Internet Explorer the Wi-Fi on it I haven't got the Wi-Fi to work unfortunately I come over here you can turn it off turn it on it doesn't do anything the the Wi-Fi icon in the uh, the gadget bar over here just stays off the whole time But uh, this thing runs Windows CE apps. It's similar to Pocket PC. 
if you happen to have one of these old tablets or any of those other Wonder Media tablets and you're just not using it anymore, you want to find a good use for it. I re really recommend uh, you know checking this out, checking out uh, putting Windows CE on it. I'm going to paste the name of the file you need to look for in the comment section or in the description of this video. And as soon as I get a chance, I'll try to post a, uh, a link to it uh, that I can find. But yeah, it runs pretty good. It's already more useful, as far as I'm concerned, than uh, than Android could run on this device. Like you always have a applications crashing. Uh, it was uh, somewhat ridiculous, and the footprint um, on this device is so low. <clears throat> it has uh, like for storage memory. That's one thing. It's uh, you know, in use. It's 255 megabytes out of 349. That's storage memory, program memory. Um, allocated is 173 is allocated already for um, uh, program memory only two, 27 megabytes is in use right now yeah it's, it, it runs beautifully so I re really recommend checking this out and uh, uh, definitely if you um, have one of these tablets laying around to tinker with give it a shot